Hi, and uh, welcome to our video about the local positioning system. Uh, since we're releasing our local positioning system in a couple of weeks, we thought we'd make a short video to explain a little bit what we've done and why and how it works. So, um, the idea is that for a quadcopter to be autonomous, outdoors for example, uh, we usually use GPS. So we know our position and the copter can uh, hold its position in space. But Indoors, we don't have GPS, and uh, so far state-of-the-art has been to use various systems, usually based on cameras, to know where the copter is in a room, for example. Um, but recently, a company called DKWave released a radio chip based on ultra-wideband radio communication that have the capability of measuring distances between two radios, and this allowed us to make a radio-based local positioning system to locate where the crazy fly is in a room. So we've made uh, a deck for Crazy Fly 2 that contains this uh, DKWave radio. And we've also made a node that can be used either as a tag to locate or as an anchor. Um, and the way that it works is that we, we would plus place anchors, for example, three in a corner um, of the room. And by knowing the distance between the tag, so in that case the crazy fly, and the different anchors, we, uh, we can pinpoint the position of the crazy fly. Knowing the position of the crazy fly, we can fly the crazy fly autonomously in the room. Uh, as you see, in 2D we need three anchors, in 3D we need four to have a fr uh, 3D uh, positioning, and we're usually using six to get some redundancy. So now what we can do is that we can go up the kitchen and do a short demo of the system. So welcome to our kitchen. As you can see, we've set up the crazy flight to fly autonomously. Uh, what we've done is that we've set up a local positioning system um, with six anchors, four on the ceiling and two on the wall. The crazy fly is ranging with all the anchor, one after each other. And uh, these ranges in meter are sent to the computer computer uh, calculate the position of the crazy fly and then send back com commands to uh, keep it at the desired set point, so here kind of in the middle of the room. Uh, we can move the set point slightly so that we can have some kind of manual control on uh, the position of the crazy fly. And of course we can uh, make it land gently. So thanks a lot for watching. We're very excited to release uh, local positioning system in a couple of weeks now. Uh, stay tuned. We are planning to make a video pretty soon about how to set up such system. And uh, for more information, go to bitcrates.io. Thank you.